Cheyenne Mountain State Park. Because of the problems with Little Red and the change in elevation at this park, uh, I'm not going to be able to do the scooter run. So I'm going to have to do another modified, well not even modified, I'm just going to do a driving tour. I'm going to mount the Go this GoPro, the Hero 7, on the, I've got a polarized filter. Hopefully that will help reduce some of that windshield glare because I'm going to be driving into the facing west for a lot of the, the visit. So we'll see how that turns out. If it sucks, then you probably won't ever see it. But if it looks good, then you'll know it turned out all right. So let's get to it. All right, there's about 2,000 feet in elevation change going from here up to the campground. So therefore, we will not be using the scooter for this run. There's 2,000 feet in elevation change going up the hill. So here we have the visitor center. Give you a look-see at that. There's lots of room in this parking lot if you need to park an RV or turn it around or something. A nice lady in there that gave me all kinds of info on the park, the hiking trails and whatnot. Now, Colorado parks or state parks are definitely different from our Texas state parks in the way they set the way the fees are charged. Um, so when I made my reservations, I, I paid for the campsite, but apparently that didn't include vehicle entrance. And I had to pay for that when I got here. Separate, I had to pay separate when I got here. It was kind of strange. And then the guy at the gate was not checking me in he basically was just giving me vehicle passes and he said just go to your campsite and someone will be a ranger will come around and, and log you in so that was what i did right, we're gonna go down here and look at this trailhead the the number one thing with Cheyenne Mountain State Park is all of the trails. I mean, that that is your primary activity in this park. They have a lot of them. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to scoot any of them because Little Red's got a power problem. The last thing I need to be doing is scooting down some trail and have Little Red go dead. I don't need a dead Little Red when I'm on the trail. Big mountain right there, that is Cheyenne Mountain. Home of the Cheyenne Mountain Air Force Base, which is a very large underground complex constructed during the Cold War. It housed NORAD, and it may still house NORAD, but it's 
probably called something different now. Little Red would not be up to climbing most of these hills. <laughs> Truck is barely up to it. The RV, Miss B was, she was crawling up this grade. These are two picnic areas and day use areas with restrooms. They have tables back down in the brush. We are going to be camped here for at least three nights while the missus attends her conference. All right, now there is a reserved over here, but we're going to drive through this parking lot anyway. This is the group pavilion for your group activities, birthdays and whatnot. It's very, very windy up here. I don't know what our elevation is. I should know that since I'm your tour guide. <laughs> but we're way up where the wind is blowing pretty much non-stop. You'd be able to get a side up here, but apparently they're all reserved. That's actually the side I wanted right there, number four. Go down here and see what's down there. Worst thing is they just tell us we can't be down here. So it is just parking. They use area.
building right here in front of us with the green roof, that has restrooms and a laundry mat. But I think the laundry facility is closed. So we're gonna go to Swiss, Swift Puma. And then we'll come back to Gobbler's Grove. into the sun. I have to apologize for that. But I'm not going to have the truck for the next three days because Yap is going to be doing her conference. So I have to do this tour while the opportunity is available. Two more camping loops. Gobbler Grove. see some windbreak of course you don't have a real great vista view all right let's go down to the meadow This is where we're set up. The meadow, or team sites, group kind of sites where you have a couple of RVers that are there together. They have a common table space and common cookers. And it's a big loop. We're just going to go right through the camping area and 
Park. disc golf course here too but I, I man I tell you what I don't know how you could be a very effective disc golfer with the wind blowing like it is all right so I'm gonna go ahead and close this out right here I do appreciate y'all following along and watching my videos. If this is the first visit to Dude RV, hey, click on that subscribe button. I post new content every Sunday morning, 10 a.m. Central Time. I'm on a mission to document all Texas state parks, but when the opportunity presents itself, I'll I'll shoot video of any other park I'm taking my RV to. So click on that bell. That way you'll never miss another production. And for those of you who have subscribed and clicked on the bell, thank you so very much. I am so deeply honored. Last thing I have to say, y'all come back now, you hear? <laughs>